New federal guidelines could seriously shake up the new economy that classifies many workers as outside contractors exempt from U.S. labor laws. The Department of Labor's now issued new guidelines suggesting most workers are actually employees and may be due back pay and overtime. The case in point is Uber, the nation's biggest car service that doesn't own a single car. Joining us is employment and labor attorney James Boyan. Thank you for being with us. Oh, thanks for having me. What was the proximate cause of the issuance of the new guidelines? Well, the Department of Labor um, wanted to formulize some of the, uh, the guidance that's been out there um, in one central place, that um, this is something, this actual standard has been around for a long time, but um, the courts have interpreted it differently. And it's not just Uber, it's across the, in almost every arena, right? Correct, any, basically any um, employment situation in the United States. The new uh, Department of Labor guidelines say, uh, most workers are employees under the Fair Labor Standards Act. How do they clarify which workers uh, fall under this act? So the way the, la the law is set up is that um, workers are um, automatically deemed to be eligible for overtime unless one of the exceptions to that law apply. Um, so there are certain exceptions based on the type of work you're doing. There's also um, an exemption, in effect, if you are not an employee, um, if you are classified as an independent contractor and things. Um, and the term in independent contractor is thrown a around a lot in employment situations, um, but it has a very specific meaning in the context of the Fair Labor Standards Act. Are there uh, a certain five or six points that have to be um, adhered to? So that, that is what in the, in the memo they, or I'm sorry, the administrator's interpretation, what they were clarifying, which how they see it, the elements of what um, constitutes employment versus independent contractor status. Uh, under the FLSA and, and showing how it's different from other tests, um, like the IRS has a different test for whether someone is an independent contractor or um, unemployment laws, there's a different test that, that applies. Um, this test is the broadest possible interpretation of who is an employee and that's what uh, the DOL met when they said um, most workers are employees. So if you're working for eight hours a day and you get a certain vacation time and stuff like that, you're an employee? Well, it, 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 it clarified the, um, the aspects, you know, the ways you can look at it based on these factors. Um, and it's, you know, a number of different factors. The, they all kind of center around this one idea of um, the economic relationship between the worker and the um, employer. That if the worker is economically dependent on the employer, then in most cases that person is going to be deemed an employee. Do you anticipate more lawsuits like the Uber class action suit? It, it has been a um, you know area where there's been increasing lawsuits filed um, in recent years, and this could um, could probably encourage more lawsuits because um, you know based on the court's guidance here, people who um, I'm sorry, based on the DOL's guidance here, people who thought that they were um, independent contractors may realize that they have rights as employees under this law. Is this a brand new thing or just a clarification of laws that have already been on the books? It's a clarification. Uh, the law actually has been on the books since uh, 1938. <laughs> it's been around for a long time. Um, and the, the definition of employee in that law has, has remained the same throughout the whole period of time. Um, however, courts have kind of interpreted it in different ways. Um, and this is meant to clarify specifically how the Department of Labor will interpret that standard. So if there's a uh, person who's working who was called an independent contractor who thinks he or she is an employee, what should that person do? Well, uh, you know, the, um, probably the right steps would be to you know, speak to someone who's um, experienced in this area. Um, you know, it could be an HR professional at, at the company if you have questions about your um, employment status um, or you know, an employment lawyer, uh, would somebody also who could uh, provide more information to that person. Okay, James Boyer, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.